respected sir and friends, good morning to all. I am Hari Prasad, rule number CS10B010. Today, I am here to talk about Bluetooth. So, let us start with what is Bluetooth? It is a proprietary open wireless technology standard for exchanging data. It uses radio transmissions in the range 2400 to 2483 megahertz. It is a packet based protocol with the master slave structure. So, what is master slave structure? While transmitting data, the sender is the master and the receiver is the slave. So, in a master slave structure of Bluetooth, a master can have at most 7 slaves and all should have the master's clock. The master may transmit during odd cycles, while the receiver transmits during the event cycles. And as you all know that they can switch between the master and the slave can switch their roles while transmission. So, what are the advantages of Bluetooth? It uses very less power during transmission. It is a very secure way to connect and ex exchange data over short distances. Like in the diagram you can see like many devices are using the same internet connection and all of them are connected through Bluetooth. Now, Moving over to some of the improvements, the Bluetooth dongle, like our desktops and do not have a Bluetooth adapter on its own. So, this is, so we can use a Bluetooth dongle, what it does is, it is an external Bluetooth adapter. Now, there are newer versions like the Bluetooth version 4, which is much faster, more secure and consumes very less power. Thank you. Thank you. Respected sir and my dear friends, good morning. Today, I will be speaking about this inverted pendulum. Inverted pendulum is a classic problem in dynamics and control theory used as a benchmark to test the various algorithms like PID, fuzzy networks, neural systems. It is just like balancing a pole in the palm. The setup is we have a rail over which we have a cart with a pole, we have a DC motor control system and a data acquisition system. So, what we do here is we apply a series of constrained forces on the cart, so that the pole starts to swing with an increasing amplitude and once the pole reaches the vertical position, then it is maintained there using the control system. The vertical position is basically instable, because the center of gravity is behind the center of drag. This is called aerodynamic instability. Yeah. This inverted pendulum can be related to rocket and missile guidance. As we improve the controller, better stability can be attained. Thank you very much. Good morning friends and respected sir. My name is V Ranjit. My roll number is B T 10 B 0 7 0. Today, I am going to talk about the topic bicycle. These are the parts of the bicycle. The main parts are frame, bars, brakes, tire, hub, rim, the pedal, chain, spokes. And from this, you can see the pedal and the crank arm clearly. Coming to the working model, the bicycle works with pedals which are connected by a chain to the back wheel. The rotation of the pedals moves the chain to the rear wheel by rotating it. And we can control 
the cycle steering by rotating the handle and we can stop the cycle by applying the brakes which are connected with cables to the rubber plates. And coming to the improvements, there are lot of improvements made in the basic cycle. By inserting the gear system, we can manage the speed and we can go quick. Mm. And disc brakes are inserted so that they can. Thank you. A very good a very good morning to one and all. Respected sir. Today, I am going to say about, uh, about the car, how it works. These are the parts of the car, mainly most of the parts are very important in the car. Connecting the road bearing is, uh, is, is useful to the wheel, uh, wheel and nowadays many of the people are using the cars uh, for many of the uses. Uh, it is it became like the daily use of the human beings. It is very needed for everyone. Most probably, the who are working and you can see in this diagram how the car engine works. Uh, th there is a radiator and the water pump and the fan uh, and the lower house and the transmission of cool lines. If engine is heated the water uh, the water pump gives water and it give, it get cool and this is how is this how we he used this is the new carburetor how it get used in the cars to get uh, more mileage and pick up of the car. Thank you. Hi everybody, good morning to all. My name is Jadhav Dattatreya and my role number is AE10B042. Today I would like to explain the design and the working of a very simple engineering object but very vital engineering object spectacles. This slide shows some of the parts of a spectacle amongst which a lens is a very important part. First of all, we need to understand the working of a human eye to understand the working of a spectacle. Human eyeball consists of a lens made up of living cells which focuses the light reflected from various objects to a screen called retina. Most commonly, there are two defects in which the focusing can happen. One, the focusing may be in front of the retina, which is called myopia, myopia also in common language short sightedness, long sightedness. Also, the second one is the focusing may be behind the retina, which is called sh short sightedness. We can correct these by using suitable lenses. As you can see from the slide, for a myopic eye, we can use a concave lens. As you all of you know, a concave lens diverges the light coming through it and makes the light, the focus to fall on, a, on the retina. And in a hypermopic eye, we can use a convex lens, which makes it to fall on retina by converging it. And these are the some of efficient ways to. Thank you. Good morning, friends. Good morning, sir. My name is Sheikh Jainuddin. My roll number is BT one zero B zero six four. Today I am going to talk about electrical bulb. So electrical bulb plays a major role in our daily life. Without electrical bulb, we can't do anything. So, now you can see some important parts of electrical bulb. 
so it has screw cap connecting wires and glass fuse enclosure glass envelope tungsten filament which is play which plays major role to electrical burn and mixer of inert gases at low pressure so these are the important parts of the electrical bulb now we can see how it works so electrical bulb works on the principle of joule's effect so when we switch on so electricity pass through the tungsten filaments which is very important to the electrical bulb so after that it produces some heat then with the help of tungsten filaments electricity produces so by this because of this some important parts the electrical bulb useful to us thank you good morning everybody i am irfan my roll number is ae 10p041 today i am here to talk about a very basic engineering object screw and its importance in our daily life it's almost impossible to make a machine without screw a screw mainly has three parts a screw head a helical surface and a cylindrical shaft if the green words moves right then the upper block goes up this is the principle behind the screw and screw tra changes translator in motion into rotational motion and vice versa it also changes both the direction and rate of motion usually we use screw to combine two or more layers of materials and it also uses to transport materials right there it's called archimedes screw it uses to lift water by rotating the screw and screws are inevitable in gear systems almost all aircrafts and ships move using propellers and a propeller is basically a screw da vinci one of the greatest artist and an engineer had designed it 500 years ago right there it's a model of helicopter blade that he designed after all screw has made our life much easier thanks for listening have a good day good morning to everyone i am alfred ajay oriet my roll number is ee 10b052 today i have come here to explain how 3d glasses work our eyes are placed apart by a small distance and so here the right eye sees more of the blue side and the left eye sees more of the red side the brain then merges both the views to give us the perspective of a 3d object the 3d movies are taken using red and blue cameras placed closely and in theaters the color filters in the 3d glasses allows only say red light to enter the left eye and the blue light to enter the right eye which when merged by the brain to give us a 3d image like this before leaving i would like to acknowledge howstuffworks.com for providing me the content Good morning ladies and gentlemen my name is Nishant and my roll number is EE10B04 
six eight. I'm here to explain the working of a fluorescent lamp. A fluorescent lamp consists mainly of a glass tube with internal phosphor coating, two electrodes, contact pins, argon and a drop of mercury. When turned on, current first flows through the starter circuit through a small arc he, through a bimetallic strip. This current generates a magnetic field in the ballast and heats up the filaments emitting electrons. After a while, the strip cools down and gets disconnected. This forces the ballast to generate an electric arc through the now fully ionized gas. The electrons from the arc excite vaporized mercury atoms releasing ultraviolet photons. These photons excite phosphor atoms emitting visible light. Respected sir and my dear friends, a very good morning. I am S.V. Aditya. My roll number is ME09B061. Today, I would like to talk about microphone, an engineering object. A microphone, colloquially called as mic, is an acoustic to electric transducer or sensor which converts sound signals into electric signals. Microphones are applied, have applications everywhere, varying from movies to even our class. Figure shows the exploded view of a cordless, cordless mic which is usually used. As you can see the main parts, mic, LED indicator, antenna, foam car, etc. This figure shows close up view of the sensor. As you can see, as the sound waves hit the diaphragm, the corresponding acoustic signal is converted to electric signal using the principle of electromagnetic induction. This, signal, this electromagnetic induction takes place mainly because of the vibrations caused in the diaphragm. Now, this is the flow process of a s completely uh, separated PA system where uh, receiver and transmitter are completely different. Uh, speed signal is given to input transducer which is compressed along with the carrier wave and sent to the mod modulator and then transmitted with the help of an antenna which is received by the receiver and demodulated and sent to the output transducer mainly speaker. Had there been no microphones invented then we would never have heard Martin Luther King or Mahatma Gandhi. Thank you. Good morning. I am Karthik. My roll number is ME09B115. Today I am going to explain the working process and the uses of bomb calorie meter. This is how a typical bomb calorie meter looks like. This instrument is used to determine the calorific value of the fuels like petrol, kerosene, coal, etc. By knowing the calorific value, we can determine the energy liberated when the fuel is burned. The main parts are ignition leads, thermometer, stirrer, bomb and sample sir. The bomb is a container which is made of thermally conductive material and can sustain high pressures. Uh, a fuel, a, a certain amount of fuel is placed in the sample sub and it is placed in the bomb. The bomb is tightly sealed and oxygen is sent through the bomb into the bomb through the oxygen inlet. With the help of the ignition leads, the fuel in the sample sub is burned. 
when the heat liberated it transferred through the walls of the bomb to the water. With the help of the stirrer, the temperature is uh, the temperature is determined using the thermometer. With the help of the stirrer, uniformity of the temperature is maintained. With the help of a predefined program and a software, the calorific value of the fuel is determined. Thank you. Hi, I wish you all a very good morning. My name is Saurabh Nath and my roll number is AE08B044. Let us talk about the structuring and moduling of a typical iPad. A third generation iPad is generally about 241 millimeter in length, 186 millimeter in breadth. With a thickness of around 9.4 millimeters, it weighs about 660 grams. And how is an iPad assembled? All the data is stored in an internal flash memory with no expandable storage. A typical iPad is designed to be charged with a 2 ampere current and 10 watts with from a 10 watt power adapter. Touch screen of an iPad is 1024 into 768 pixel of liquid crystal display with scratch proof glass. It has two internal speakers which reproduce both right and left channel audio. Some of the problems relating to the iPad are overheating, short battery life and memory shortage and more R&D investments are being made so that we can overcome them. Thank you. Good morning, one and all. My name is Pravin Kumar and my roll number is NA10B055. I am here to say about an engineering object on refrigerator. Refrigerator, it is used for storing food, stuffs and all. It decreases the bacteria and preserve food for longer period of time. And you can see the parts of the refrigerator. In the parts of the refrigerator, the main parts are evaporator, compressor, condenser and expansion. And it is thermally insulated it is thermally insulated compartment and heat pump which transfers heat from inner body to the outer environment and co cools the free fridge inside. And working of refrigerator, in compressor the temperature and pressure will be increases and if the fluid goes to the condenser and makes the temperature decrease and keeps the pressure constant. And if it goes to expansion the temperature will be constant and pressure increases. Uh, finally, the fluid goes to the evaporator and the warm air goes to the evaporator and sends the fluid into the cold air. And finally, we are using the gas freon as R12. It harms the ozone layer and um, for betterment and R we are using bar 134A, it is also called as 1112 Thank tetrafluoroethane. Thank you sir. Good morning to everyone. My name is Manoj. My roll number is CE10B020. Today, I am going to discuss, discuss in brief about automatic sensor water tap. The major parts of sensor tap are infrared sensor, solenoid valve, solid press body, control box and the power source. Coming to its working, the solenoid valve transforms the electric signals into motion. It closes when the object is removed and opens when the object is placed. The infrared sensor detects the object 
and sends the signals to the solenoid valve to open and close when the object is placed and removed respectively. The water gets delivered through the solid based body and regarding the improvements since it works only when there is a power source the automatic shift of the power source from main to battery and the combination of automatic and manual would work effectively thank you hi friends good morning everyone my name is seshu ardhan my roll number is ce10 b019 today i am going to discuss about the disc brake technology these are the parts of a disc brake the two green shafts are known as calipers and the red piston is between the calipers and the two blue colored brake pads are on either side of the disc the wheels are attached to the disc through the hub and the disc is provided with a rotor with it working when the when the disc brake is is lot like a brakes on the motor bike bike brakes have a caliper which squeezes the brake pads against the wheel in a disc brake the brake pads squeeze the rotor instead of the wheel as the force is transmitted hydraulically into the cable the brake fluid flows through the tube and moves the piston towards the disc in this way the brake fluid moves into the pipe towards the piston and the piston is pushed forward onto the disc the friction between the two brake pads allows the uh, disc to slow down and eventually the wheels also slow down however the disc brakes are very efficient they are also dangerous as they have the maximum chances of failure during the high speeds so never do not use any cheap brake fluid because of any any failure causes any because of any failure regular checking and maintaining the brake pads gives more life to the brake systems and increases the efficiency thank you respected sir my dear friends a very good morning to one and all my name is rajiv my roll number is m e 09 b 034 today i am going to present the pedal mechanism used in pedal dustbin this is the 3d label of a pedal dustbin please have a look at major parts of the mechanism a pedal mechanism consists of several linkages and pivots either moving or fixed pivots link together to allow a specific motion in this diagram the major pivots are represented coming to the mechanism when the foot is pressed on pedal a the linkage b orients upward which causes the linkage c to move up a linkage c is connected to pivot d on the lid the fixed pivot e the lid thus moves thus rotates about the pivot e thank you respected sir and my dear friends good morning to one and all my name is stephen kishore and my roll number is na08 b037 today i am going to present about water purifier it has the parts mentioned in the 
figure which has a covering lid disinfectant water to be filtered what activated carbon filtered water and spigot coming to the process description it is a five stage process stage 1 it is washable filter dome it removes suspended impurities stage 2 active disinfectant it eliminates bacteria and viruses coming to the stage 3 bacteriostatic activated carbon it removes excess iodine chlorine organics color odor and faultage stage 4 it is lower filter dome it filters the purified water to give clear water stage 5 it is special mag tube a magnet in the tap at the last stage dispenses energized water cost of the purifier is very expensive it's around rupees 5000 to rupees 20000 coming to the improvements it is very recently discovered that banana peel can be used as a good purifier purifiers made by banana peel is less expensive and can be used 11 times without losing its metal binding properties thank you good morning friends my name is kumar my roll number is bt 10b024 today i would like to speak a few words about fountain pen who is waterman painted uh, painted the first practical fountain pen in 1884 the mechanism of fountain pen may be broke down into three categories first one is there where second is feed and third is nib however is mainly used to hold the ink uh ink flows from is there where to feed and finally reaches nib in feed ink flows into capillary groove and then to canal and finally reaches spit and this whole principle works on the capillary action the pressure difference between ink and the atmosphere makes the ink to flow in the pen without any breakage uh, this pressure difference is maintained by the small hole present between nib and the spit a nib nib is called as the heart of the pen because it is the only part of the pen which is in contact with the paper the materials used to make the nib are gold steel mixture of steel etc 